Hello, this is Paul Cheney with Spartan Design University. Today we're going to take a look at the Tripod 50V from Orange Monkey. It is a compact, lightweight tripod, and I use it to set my camera really low to use with a Folio 360 turntable and light tent. I'll be using it with my Canon 90D and a 28mm lens. Also, it's got a plate for your phone, so it'll adjust to almost any phone size. So let's open this thing and see what we've got. Here's the camera plate. We'll look at that in a minute. It does come with a carry bag. That's the tripod right there. You can see it's about seven inches tall. I can fit it nicely in my camera bag just like that. Talk about this pan handle here in a minute. As you flip the legs down, you'll hear three different clicks. One, two, three. So the legs have three different positions you can set them at. With the tripod set to the highest and loosen the center post. That's about as low, let me go a teeny bit lower, that's about as low as you can set it. So we're looking at about seven and a half inches there. If you tip them up to the third position, then you can go quite a bit taller. The legs have a quick release and they extend out several times. And each time you turn it, you can kind of feel a stop. It'll pull out, turn it again, it'll pull some more, turn it again, turn it again. And that's the full extension for that leg. You simply twist it and it's all the way out. So there's a quick version. One more. So maximum height on our tripod, we're looking at about 19 inches there. Personally, I don't use it that way. I, I keep it low for my tent, but it's nice to have that capability in such a tiny tripod. So to put your legs in, you release. Each time you feel a click, it's one stop. Then you get all, all the way back in. This amazing little tripod is set to hold 11 pounds. My camera with this Sigma lens is only three pounds. So it'll hold a lot more weight than I'm gonna ever throw at it with this. Here at the top, we have an Arca style plate release. This is a very high quality, much better than some of the earlier plates that we had to use with cameras. Put it on my camera, line it up so it's parallel with my lens, and then I can slip it in. and tighten it down here from the back. And when that's in, there's no movement. That's, that's solid. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down. Let's go one more. When you get down almost to the bottom, you can see that the center post will actually extend down. So there's a release here, and you can slide it up and down, you know, a couple inches, not much. It does have some adjustment there. Now, it does have a very, very smooth pan between this and this degree marker down here. Really nicely done. Right here, there's an opening, this fancy little handle. Slide into there, you can tighten it down. So if you're a video person and you're trying to do some DSLR video motion, this gives you a nice, smooth action to do a pan. I don't do that much, so this stays in my bag. My goal is to photograph stuff in a light tent. So this is perfect. I can release this ball head 
I can tip it down. If I get it in this groove right here, I can tip it almost all the way straight down, which is, of course, way too much. And then way too much here. So I'm going to be aiming that right at my subject. Snug it down. Now, one thing I neglected to show you, let me release this plate here really quick. Right here on this plate is a bubble level. It's tiny, but it's there. So if you were trying to get a perfectly flat plane, plane right here, that bubble will do it for you. So now you have a perfectly flat motion. You also, if you release this and flip it down, see right there? They've actually put a bubble in the handle. Pretty clever. So that if I wanted a perfectly flat plane here, there it is. That's perpendicular. So some really nice features that they've thought of when they've built this cute little tripod. Now, this is another nice feature. If you have a digital SLR camera, that's what you're going to shoot with, okay? But not everybody has one. Sometimes you want to just use your phone. And if you have controlled lighting, you can actually do some decent photography with your phone. This expands out. Look at that. So it'll hold almost any phone. Now I've got an iPhone with a case on it. It'll actually go around it and include the case. It's that big. So let me pull the plate off of my digital camera. I mount it to the little thread on the back of this plate. I snug it down. And now I'm going to turn my camera. Right now it's looking this way, which is what I want. So I can get that up really close. Adjust the ball head. I can get a landscape or I can flip it and get a portrait shot. Either one works. So overall, for the price of this little tripod, very solidly built, very impressive. Um, very nice addition to your folio and your turntable if you're going to be doing um, stuff in kind of a controlled environment, a studio like this. 